While many people may have already been trained in generic concepts of results-based management and monitoring and evaluation systems, applying the theory in practical ways is often a challenge. Many staff also struggle with the very real problem of how to transform the several sheets of paper that contain a program's results framework and indicators into a well-functioning system of data collection, analysis, interpretation, reporting and learning. Systematic and robust monitoring and evaluation depends on coherent program design. Programs which are coherent are those which have sound internal logic. It also articulates what changes the program intends to achieve and how it expects to do so. Sound M&D systems are critical for helping organizations understand to what extent they have achieved what they intended to achieve. In order for this to occur, an organization must have a common and shared understanding of the program's logic, intended results and indicators for assessing change. The course is therefore intended for those who have a shared interest in establishing or strengthening their monitoring and evaluation systems. It will be of interest to both staff involved in implementation of development interventions as well as monitoring and evaluation staff. The objectives of this course are to develop a greater understanding of the guiding principles of sound monitoring and evaluation systems, develop a greater understanding of how to use results-based management to develop robust monitoring and evaluation systems, and develop a greater understanding of how to strengthen monitoring and evaluation systems in our units. Specifically, the course will explore some of the foundations for designing and implementing robust monitoring and evaluation systems. This includes the 10 steps of establishing a monitoring and evaluation system, including the approach of results-based management. It will also explore topics such as defining results, developing and selecting key performance indicators, how to collect data and information, grouping indicators, and developing output monitoring tools. We hope you enjoy this course and that the information can be applied to your own programs or projects in the future.